Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome out of your basement, your office, or wherever you've been hiding for the last three years. It's great to have you here in person. I'm David Verrill. I'm the executive director of the MIT Initiative on the Digital Economy. We're your host for the, for the day today. Thanks very much for being here. Um, I'm just going to run through a very brief uh, set of, uh, of slides just to introduce the IDE, and uh, then we'll move on with the content of the day. So the IDE is shaping a brighter digital future by researching how people and businesses will work, interact, uh, and prosper in a profound era of digital transformation. We're all in it. We're all working within it. We're all fighting within it. Um, the, I think the issue is that uh, a lot of our organizational structures aren't keeping pace with technology. That's why we exist. This creates a great dichotomy for us to, to do empirical research, and we work with many of you, uh, corporate supporters in the audience here, to uh, further our, our research activities. Uh, we also have a toe in the water of education. I'll talk a little bit about that in a moment, and you're part of our outreach and convenings. This is, uh, whoops, sorry, back one. There we go. This is our lineup of, uh, of, of uh, uh, research leads within the IDE. And let me just sort of walk through each one of them. Uh, I'll do the top row first. Sinan Aral, who's the director of the IDE, is focused on the metaverse and Web3. Uh, Andy McAfee is focused on tech for good. Dean Eccles is focused on new data and analytics platforms. Renee Goslin, responsible AI. Bottom row, uh, uh, Dave Rand on fake news and misinformation. Uh, John Horton, uh, AI Marketplaces and Labor Economics. Sandy Penland, who actually sits here in the Media Lab on Distributed Systems. Uh, and Neil Thompson on the Future of Computing, Think Quantum Computing. Each one of these researchers has a bevy of PhDs, postdocs, and other researchers within their group. Uh, and they each have perhaps uh, eight or ten projects going on at any given time. Probably half of them are supported by uh, our corporate sponsors. Uh, we also uh, support the Analytics Lab. The Analytics Lab is a fall semester course where students, uh, master's level students in both the uh, analytics and regular MBA program self-form teams to perform uh, projects. These are capstone projects with companies. It's a free activity to participate in. We need your time and mentorship. More importantly, we need your data. Uh, and the students spend the entire semester working on a project. It's a great way to maybe have a little competition between your data scientists at your company uh, and or support uh, some holes in that. And it's also a great, great to uh, recruit students. You get to work with them closely for the semester and uh, maybe handpick a few to, to consider recruiting. If you're interested in that, there's uh, some information on this slide. And these slides will rotate during, uh, uh, between the, the speakers today. Uh, this is one of our bigger events of the year. Uh, this is our first attempt at doing something in, in person since the pandemic, so appreciate again your being here. We do have an audience that's joining us uh, from, uh, from far away. Um, we, we want to encourage Q&A, so there are a couple of microphones here for, for those of you in the room, and we'll also use a, an online system for, for Q&A. If you're interested in any of these events, please visit our website or sign up for our newsletter, and you get periodic invites to participate. Uh, we couldn't do any of this without our, uh, our sponsors and supporters. Uh, this page lists those corporate sponsors that support our, our work. Um, I think you recognize the bulk of the names. We also have a number of private foundations and individuals that provide us with gift support. It's much appreciated. We're one of the larger research initiatives at the Sloan School. We're a boat on our own bottom, and so uh, we work closely with, with uh, these stakeholders to help further the goals of the IDE. Uh, again, I mentioned our newsletter. You can uh, subscribe to that. It's monthly. It's relatively harmless. It's a monthly update on all of the research output of the previous month, uh, information about upcoming events uh, and other activities. If you'd like to consider hosting an A-Lab uh, course in the fall, we're right in the mix now of reviewing proposals and checking out data. So if you'd like to participate in that, it's really important for you to get rolling on it. It's, it's going to take a month or so for us to kind of organize the, uh, the projects and, and test the data. And we also have a membership for corporations. If you're not a member and you think your company might benefit from participating in the IDE, just speak with me, and I'm happy to tell you about the, uh, the value proposition. I mentioned a Q&A today. So our, our online audience will be using Slido. You can use it too, but I think it's just as easy for you to walk up to the microphone and have a direct face-to-face -face interaction with the speakers. So please don't be shy. 
um, uh, you know, whether it's a simple question or a complex one, uh, our, our, our speakers are, are, are ready, willing, and able to, uh, to respond. And if you'd like to, to uh, broadcast uh, on uh, any of the social, um, uh, uh, social platforms, you can tweet Instagram and uh, LinkedIn. Feel free to share what you're seeing here today. Uh, and uh, for our event sponsors, I want to uh, thank McFadden Digital and the network. Um, they're here. Uh, the, the network will be participating in organizing the sentiment of the day, and McFadden will, uh, will be on the agenda as well. We appreciate their support. Um, so I'm going to stop there. I try to go real quick because I want to get directly to the content, and uh, I'd like to, to invite uh, Jeff Parker up to the stage. Jeff is one of our three uh, co-chairs of the event, a uh, longtime researcher in the platform space, and uh, he's going to start the show. All right.